What's good, e -Barons? On today's episode, we'll let you know how you can join BCC TV for next semester. Let you guys know how to get help with schoolwork. Hear about how the BCC community appreciates MLK Day. Learn how to make good eats with Joel. Get hype about protecting our Chipotle. And see a special ad from one of our serial sponsors. I'm Maya Broadwater. And I'm Piero Vasquez. And, and you're, you're watching, watching BCC, BCC TV. TV. So, Piero, what's going on in the news this week? The streaming media giant Netflix is raising its U.S. monthly subscription prices by up to $24 per year. This would be its largest increase ever and the fourth time it's increased prices in the U.S. since it started its streaming services 12 years ago. The record for most liked picture on Instagram is now held by a brown egg with over 46 million likes. This topped Kylie Jenner's previously most liked picture. In BCC News, next week is the last week of the semester. Make sure to get your grades up to your standards. There will be a course registration info meeting for parents next Thursday the 24th at 7 p.m. Maya, do you know who's going to take our spots for next year? You know, as anchors? Stop, you're making me so sad. I don't even want to think about it. But I guess eventually we do have to pass the baton on to class of 20. So let's check out some info about auditioning for the next season of BCC TV. Everybody quiet on set. Three, action! At the indoor track and field meet this weekend in shot put, Alpha Bob... Ryan! I brought my stuff. Uh-oh. What do we do now, Jeremiah? I know what to do. Let's have tryouts. Tryouts? Yeah. Ooh. For seniors. I've always wanted to be anchor because I'm large and I live at the bottom of the sea. Hi, my name is Priya Dahia. Wake, Wake up, Bustlin! <laughs> In news this week, the government is shut down. And so is my brain. But that doesn't mean you can't get down! Okay, hold on, let me start my voice. Wait. BCC water polo scored a touchdown against Whitman 29-3 to last week. Women? No, Whitman. Part of being the most beautiful woman in America is being on television. Yeah. And I'm really exactly. excited to do that today. <laughs> Are we the <laughs> worst <side? laughs> Volleyball teams um, played. <laughs> what What's grinding my gears this week, Barons? What's goody, Barons? Are you a senior interested in trying out for BCC TV for second semester? Well, you've come in luck. We're having tryouts next Thursday, during lunch, and after school. But where? In the TV studio. But where is the TV studio? <laughs> right by the media center. Make sure to show out to auditions. BCC TV is a great experience, and we highly recommend being a with so much going on in the sports this week, I think it's time to pass it over to Jeremiah to see how our teams have been doing. Hey Barons, girls basketball won two of their last three, whooping QO and beating WJ by 10 points. They sadly fell to Whitman though in their most recent game by only four. Make sure to check out the Lady Ballers Wheaton game tonight at 7.15 at BCC and as they take on Whitman again at Whitman at 7.15 this Tuesday for redemption. Guys basketball lost in a close game against WJ last Friday, 53 to 51, but they beat women in a really intense game on Tuesday, 62 to 61, on a clutch buzzer beater three by Tyler Groom. The guys take on Wheaton in an away game at 7:15 tonight, and will take on Whitman again at home this time on Tuesday at 7:15. Come on and show your Baron pride. Clarksburg High School got busted by Barons Wrestling last Thursday, 52 to 21, now claiming the number one seed in the region on their road to states. Also, shout out to everyone who came to show support to wrestling on Wednesday at their Baron Brigade match against Springbrook. Unfortunately, wrestling lost to Springbrook 25 to 41, but they're off now to one of the toughest tournaments on the East Coast. Make sure to wish wrestling luck at their War on the Shore match this weekend, where they'll hopefully get another win. Women dive, the girls dominated Whitman, 
but the boys took the L in an intense meet. Shout out to Katie Stevenson and Samantha Smith for their individual event wins. And shout out to Kate Hallmark, Joe Berger, and Will Tempest for all winning both of their respective races. Also shout out to Derek Schmeagel for winning diving. Tomorrow's Swim and Dive has a meet against Blair away at MLK Swim Center at 9.15. Come out and show support. For track and field's MoCo Invitational, Roslyn had the best mile time and now holds the seventh fastest mile time in MoCo girls. And shout out to Nick Bailey on his personal record in the 300 meters. Also at counties, I want to give a special shout out to Soren Abnett Holden, Ellie Wade, Alpha Ba, Elena Grant, and Winston Brabell on their personal records. Also, Emerson, aka Merso, aka Biggie, got a new personal record of 10 minutes and 11 seconds in the 3200. It just goes to show you that if you mess with the Merso, you get the Curso. Before I give it back to Maya and Piero, there are some special announcements that I have to give. First, make sure to check out the latest version of the BCC podcast on SoundCloud now for a recap of the BCC Whitman beef and to get hyped for the basketball games on Tuesday. And here's an update on Baron Brigade points after Wednesday's wrestling match. 19 is still in first place with 60 points, 20 is in second place with 32 points, 22 is in third place with 14 points, and 21 is in last place with 10 points. Well, that's all for the sports this week, Barons. Back to you, Maya Piero. Thanks for that, Jeremiah. Well, that's all for this week, Barons. Check back in next Friday for more news, updates, and humor. Keep the standards high, BCC. And the unsportsmanlike behavior at basketball games low. I'm Maya Broadwater. And I'm Piero Vasquez. And, and we're, we're signing, signing off. off.